Number five, the more you play with it, the harder it gets. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Is, is this like uh, like putty or something? or no. like, uh, uh, Electronic. Oh. I have no idea. Like, it's got like a gaming system? <laughs> yes. Yes. Xbox? No. Nope. Nintendo? No. Nope. PlayStation? No. Nope. GameCube? No, but close. Getting like kind of close. Shake it up. Uh, 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 yeah. The Martini Boys. Hey. The Martini Boys. Hey. Pour yourself a drink. What is going on, everybody? Happy Wednesday. Happy Wing Wednesday. Woo, Wing Wednesday. Wing Wednesday, baby. Used to be Tuesdays and Mondays, I think, or sometimes. Well, usually the weekends, but it's been Wing Wednesday, and it's been awesome. I love Wing Wednesday. Yes. I wish Wing Wednesday was every day. I know. I know. You're back? I'm back. I just got back yesterday. Uh, Lindsay and I were in California for a number of reasons, but most importantly, we're there for my friend's wedding, which is a lot of fun, so... Yeah, from what I what I've seen, it was that was looking <laughs> awesome. It was I was jealous. Yeah, lit is lit is a good word for it. Lit. Well, for today's drink, you went to where? I went to Catalina um, two days ago. So Lindsay had never been there before. It was my third time, I believe. But yeah, we went to Catalina, cruised around there for a little while, had some really strong, really great mai tais. So here we are. Here we are. So. If you notice our get get up, we're going Hawaiian today, baby. So cheers Drinking to the drink. Mai Tais. <laughs> we are having on the rocks Mai Tais. We've dabbled with on the rocks before. They're outstanding, honestly. I miss these, honestly. They're so good. Yeah. Well, what is the science? <laughs> the science. I'm going to first tell you, well, let's just get into the... This one's on the rocks, so there's rum, obviously, and there's a lot of like fruit juices, lime. But the it's claimed to be one of the most famous tiki drinks, which I think I agree. What defines a tiki drink? Tiki drink is so usually they're they're served, which we don't have, but they're served in like a tiki glass. So it's like usually the totem poles, oh. you know what I'm saying? Kind of like the tattoo I have. Oh yeah 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 yeah. So yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, typically it's rum, orange, curacao, fresh lime juice, and orgeat. And I was like, what the hell is orgeat? It is a almond syrup, which is crazy because I actually now taste almond. Do yeah, you? Yeah. Right? It's so weird. It's really good. It is. Is that in this? Is that this recipe? It has to be. It has to be. I'm assuming typically we'll have the bottle on here, but um, not today. I taste it for sure. It's really good. It's weird. I, I've never put almond flavor with a Mai Tai until just now, because now that I read it. But definitely an orange liqueur of some sort. There is rum. It's the uh, cruise, cruisin. Crozen, crozen, right? Cruisin? I don't know. Cruisin. I don't know. <laughs> cruisin? I'm not going to say yes anymore. <laughs> I'm just going to deny until I die. I think it's cruisin. Cruisin is how they pronounce it. That sounds it. right. Yeah. <laughs> so the first so. time Lindsay and I had On the Rocks, we were in uh, the Keys. And yes. they had them at like a resort, so like, oh, let's try this. It's margaritas, or they had, uh, I think, uh, Moscow mules maybe, and mai tais, I think too. But or daiquiris, but dude, they're had so great. Many. Yeah, and then we've we've tried these before a few months ago, and they're still they're still smacking. Oh yeah, I th- they're they I think they're around like fourteen percent, fifteen percent. It's forty proof. It's really yeah, really they're no good. joke. They're no joke. They're good. They're no joke. It's Comes a little- in a little glass bottle. You can take them. On the road, not not to yep. drink on the road, but take them to a location destination. That's right. Remember uh, when we were in Portland for your birthday, there was many on the rocks. Do you remember seeing those? Did you ever see them? Yeah, yeah, we talked about that. At the hotel, back. there was like it, small ones. That's that's sick. We I should have got some. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> February is going to be coming again, so Me too. we'll have to revisit. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, <clears throat> to give a little a little trivia here. Victor Bergeron, are you related to the hockey player? I'm not. <laughs> are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Victor Bergeron, he claimed to have invented the Mai Tai in 1944 at his restaurant Trader. Oh, Trader Vicks. Oh. Guess where? California. Yeah. 
I thought I don't know. I thought because it was uh, kind of tropical. I thought maybe it'd be maybe a Caribbean kind of thing. Or even rum, Hawaii. Rum's huge. That's true. In the Caribbean. That's true. No, Oakland, California. Oak Town. Oak, Oak City. Town. Yeah. So uh, when I worked at this restaurant in California, in Dana Point, they were like something about their slogan, which we can get into later. But there were they sold the world famous mai tais, and okay. they had a count, like just like a, like a jack like a jackpot board type of thing. Jackbox. Jackbox. <laughs> Like a board that, like a digital board, and every time there was one sold, it like added another number to the list. Okay. Well, I was there for the one millionth Mai Tai sold, or maybe it was even 1.5 millionth. And uh, my parents were actually eating there. They were like two tables away from winning it. The winner, or the not the winner, but the person that had the 1.5 millionth Mai Tai got dollar Mai Tais for life. And uh, I mean, dude. They're Mai Tais. You can ask for them a certain style. You can get a tall Mai Tai, a tall Tai. Oh, yeah. And, uh, dude, they're really good. I like white Mai Tais as well. They're they're pretty common at, like, uh, the fusion Asian fusion restaurants like Tokyo and things, the sushi places, and they use vodka instead of rum. Okay. But that's interesting. Love. Because in a Mai Tai, it's got both dark rum and white rum. Yes. But And this has just vodka, no rum. Interesting. Not this one, but the yeah, yeah, the white Mai Tai. So the white tie. The white tie. I know. Interesting. Well, wherever you are, I'd like to become friends because I would like a, a, a dollar Mai Tai. <laughs> I would like a dollar Mai Tai. I know. I was like, does that come with a well, AA wow. membership? Yeah. <laughs> how's your How's your vision? We're getting it. We're getting a tan Super down vision. Here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least soon. When, once this we finish this is actually these. covering up my uh, sunglass tan from from my trip to California. Okay. At the wedding, the ceremony was indoors in uh, in San Diego, and then the reception was, like, outdoors, kind of like, like the top of this mountain in Marietta, uh, like an hour north of San Diego. And it was, like, just all turf on top of this mountain with, like, a big white tent, and they had, like, little, like, portable bars, basically. I love that. They had a Rita's shaved ice, because it was hot, dude. It was hot, and it was... The sun was just beaming on us, unless you're under the tent. So they had, like, uh, shaved ice or frozen, whatever. I think it's called shaved ice. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. And uh, It's kind of like when they do the frozen wines and stuff, right? Uh, no, this okay. was not alcohol. Like, literally, like, shaved ice. Like, Oh, got it. So strictly for, like, cool and yeah, hydration. Like just okay. to kind of okay. cool you off from being in the sun. But That's cool. I was just going to the bar. They had, uh, their like, their signature drinks were uh, margarita and uh, Moscow Mule. Okay. So I think it was, yeah, Kowski Mule or something like that. But, um, yeah, we, Lindsay had a few margaritas. I had a few margaritas, and then I switched to uh, my, my, my boy Tito, Uncle T, TSLs. We'll, we'll be seeing him soon. Yeah. So it went That's well. Awesome. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I got to see a lot of old friends from college and San Diego. And, and when I was up in San Clemente, I got to see some friends from work there. So it was good. That's awesome, man. Yeah, when you go out, you always... I don't think you've ever gone out without like having a good time. Yeah, there's always some story, even if it's low key with no <laughs> plans. Is you're doing something that's sick. Yeah, well, it's always like it's just good to see old friends. Like, I mean, if I lived there, I'd be coming back here and doing the same thing with you. It's like it's right. just visiting friends and having a good time. And I'll be honest, you got to meet a few people, and so that was fun. That's good. New new people. Yeah, that, yeah, that's that's my awesome. friend Nico well, yeah, and the a few other a few other people. Yeah, you said it best. Like the wedding, the, one of the greatest parts is that you have everyone come together from everywhere in the yeah. world, or at least the country. That you probably won't see again, or at least right. for a long time. And you and lived in New York, so you had friends from New York, friends from yeah. here, friends from you know. Like for me, it's like I had friends from the West Coast, friends from the East Coast, friends from my professional life, like yourself, right? Um, friends from my childhood. It's just like, yeah. And I told I told Paul and Jess this, whose wedding it was. I said you're never gonna have these people in the same place ever again. So no. like, just embrace it, enjoy every minute of it, and uh, you know, just have a good time. So. It was great to see them. We had an awesome time. We went to this uh, crazy bar in Temecula afterwards, and there was a mechanical bull. It's kind of like a Western bar, country bar, but... That's awesome. Yeah, the bull. So uh, Jess, the bride, <laughs> she rode the mechanical bull for a pretty good good amount of time, actually. I People were getting tossed left and right, and uh, <laughs> eventually she, she did get tossed, but yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty epic. That's sick. Well, I'm going to raise my glass. They know me, but not... They know who I am, but... You obviously weigh more, but congratulations anyway. Looked like a hell of a time. Yeah. And you can't go wrong with being out in California. Yeah, we had a sick time. Yeah. Ooh. Top it off. Ooh. Top it off here. The Top stash. me off. 
Top it off. Top it up. So we added the on the rocks to the shaker just for just to make it cool. Yeah. I think it was in the Sorry. fridge, but we had some ice and got it nice and chile. Honestly, the past couple of weeks have just been really busy work wise. Yeah. And so today it's like I did what I had to do to be to be prepared, but they don't they don't fr- they don't refrigerate these things. At least the the places around here, they're always on the shelf. So that's weird. I know, but hey, ice, 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 baby, ice container, <laughs> pour. Yeah. <coughs> Sick. Cheers. Cheers, man. Cheers, Cheers to my ties too. and tropical. And uh, Chimachinga Shaguga. Kama. Uh, Kama Kuja. Kawawa. <laughs> Kama Kawawa. You, you either get it or you don't. Probably don't. <laughs> <clears throat> well, do you remember what you were saying about slogans? Yes. Okay. Tell it because that's going to lead into something. <laughs> well, I was just saying earlier like, about the so the restaurant I worked at. Um, their, not their slogan, but their whole like, thing was like best Mai Tais or a million Mai Tais oh, served yeah. or something like that. So, you know, speaking of slogans, I heard, you, uh, I heard slogans. You, you got something good for me over there up your sleeve. I do. I might have to take these off because I don't think I'm going to be able to see. All right. So you can I'll join. join you. You can join. Wow, I can see you again. I know. I'll leave them right here. We're, we're chilling. Look at that. <laughs> Making it tropical. Wow. I know what you're talking about, though. And it, they're really dark. They got a nice floater to it, right? Oh, yeah. The place I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. For my ties. So speaking of slogans, we are going through top 10 worst slogans ever made for very reputable companies. There's some good ones out there. Yes. In terms of bad. <laughs> yes. Well, we're there. We're there. All right. Coming in number 10. You should give me like... Give me the slogan. Let me see if like, like if you think okay. I can guess it. If you think I can guess where it's from, maybe like two out of the ten. Okay, because I would be the same. But try guess at least guess and then sure. If it's not working, sure. I'll give it like a sure. I'll give it sure. like a sure. I'll give it like a <laughs> sure. A shirt. <laughs> I'm, I'm like I feel like I'm, we're balling here. I love I like this collared shirt, man. Going 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 to Hawaii. Hawaii. Number ten. The slogan is, and remember these are like very big companies. Touching is good. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to guess like S.C. Johnson or something. No, not no. even close. Touching is good. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> touching is. I'm trying to go good. for like a general thing too. Like, is it like for like bed sheets or something? I know. It, again, I know I keep saying this, but like, think mainstream, like, so many people know this and use this or no have idea. this. All right. Nintendo DS. Oh. Because it's a touch Touching screen. is good. Touching guys. Did you ever have, is good. have a Nintendo DS? I didn't, but I used my cousins a lot. What about? Yeah. I had Game Boy, Game Boy Color. Yeah, dude, that was the coolest. I had Game Boy. Game Color. Boy Advance. I had Game Boy Advance too. Game Boy Advance SE. Whatever. It was like that was made by squid. Nintendo, right? Yeah. Okay, so they're no. still like around, but they don't make Game Boys. No. They should bring no. them back. Definitely DS. DS is still out there. Well, the Switch is like the newest and yeah best type of version of that. Oh, I, I think it's awesome. I think <clears throat> the fact that you can use it to a TV. Connect it to a TV like regular console and use the remotes, or you can use it as a handheld. That's I think so that's cool. awesome. Yeah, you can bring it. You can bring it on uh, plane or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So someone had one on a bachelor party I went to last year, and they took the screen off, or they took their controllers off, put the screen on the table, and they just like played on the table like with. Uh, it's like, dude, the best portable like game system or game console. Like the PSP. Psst, psst, psst. I know. I had a PSP. Oh, I Remember did the too. Discs. Oh yeah. 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 Good stuff. Good stuff. I had Grand Theft Auto <laughs> stories on that. Oh, uh, GTA I stories had, uh, or Vi- uh, Vice City stories. Or I might have had called. Vice City. Yeah. Um, what were the other ones? It might have been Vice. Liberty City stories. That's what it was. Liberty, Liberty City Liberty stories. City. Yeah. yeah. It was like a basically Vice City, but it was like its own little. Nothing compared to GTA 5. No. No, that's still anyways, top one. I don't want to derail us here. Hey, no worries. We'll be back. <laughs> we're, we are back. So, Touching is Good, number 10, Nintendo DS. And it was part of a forty million dollar campaign aimed at teenagers and older gamers. So they couldn't have said touching that is worse, good. <laughs> right? And that's number ten. That's number ten, guys. Number nine. Enjoy the go. That's gotta be like like some sort of like like Starbucks to go drink or something, or like a so Mountain off Dew again. Or I'm just laughing because it's it's so funny about just how you interpret. It. I know because I'd be the same way. The go and Embr- was it enjoy the go. Enjoy the go. Yeah. Like uh, taking a leak or something? <laughs> You're close. 
Think of the other other side. Oh. <laughs> oh. Poopery? Uh no, but the first like four letters of that or the Poo. first three. Yes. So Poonami. Yes. <laughs> so now think of a very, very, very popular brand with poo. Winnie the? No. No <laughs> brand. Oh. Poo. Would you clean it? With <laughs> Toilet paper? <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's the company? Toilet I paper. Don't know. It's Charmin. Charmin? That Charmin. Have poo in it. Well, you wipe it. <laughs> <laughs> you wipe the poo on it. Enjoy the go. The campaign features cartoon bears that we can only assume are based on the old do bears shit in the woods. Oh, so I do love go. the bears. The yes. bears are adorable. Those yes. are my, I'm like, look at those bears. They're like bear. scooting up and rubbing their ass <laughs> on, the, uh, on the tree trunks. Number eight. What can Brown do for you? <laughs> wow, was this like a campaign slogan? <laughs> they're all sa- they're all campaign slogans. These no, were but ads. A campaign for like a oh yeah political person. No no no. These are all just ads like Brown, on TV. What can Brown do for you? Is it? Uh... <laughs> Damn it! I feel like I should know this. I don't know it though. <laughs> Give it to me. The United Parcel Service UPS because they're oh, in Brown. That makes sense. Yes. Yeah. 2002 to showcase the wide array of services they offer. Apparently, they uh, offer brown. What can brown do yeah. for you? Yeah. <laughs> what can brown do? Uh, what's that? Uh, whoopity do. What could I get for you? <laughs> 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 Number seven. Ooh, it's getting, getting worse. Keep on sucking. Wow. Oh, is this for like a lollipop? Close. A vacuum? No. No, close. <laughs> like a ring pop? No, but very close. Uh, like that, that candy? Yes. Uh, very f- very popular. It's shots we used to do. Sucking. It's shots we've oh, done. Oh, like bomb pops? No. No. Like a Jolly specific. Rancher. Yes. There we go. There Keep you go. Ding, sucking, ding, ding, baby. ding. Yeah. Yep. In this bleak 2015 campaign, Jolly Rancher tells millennials that life is full of unfair hardships, and the only way to roll with the punches is to keep on sucking. What a bunch of weirdos. Wow, man. <laughs> I kind of want to meet them, and I kind of don't. <clears throat> Number six, have a happy period. <laughs> it's got to be for like Tampax or yeah. something, is it? Uh, I think it's it's maxi pads. Okay, but you you got it. Ding ding ding, you got that. Have a happy period. Who has a happy period? Nobody. Nobody. That's why it's so bad. Girls <laughs> are like, are you kidding? Number five, the more you play with it, the harder it gets. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. It, is this like uh, like putty or something or no. like ju- uh, electronic? Oh, I have no idea. Like it's got like a gaming <laughs> system. Yes. Yes. Xbox? No. Nope. Nintendo? No. Nope. PlayStation? No. Nope. GameCube? No, but close. Getting like kind of close. PSP? Think older. Uh, Nintendo? No. Did I say that? Yeah, but something around that era. Wii? No, but. GameCube? Around that? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> no, I would have known either. It's for Sega. The wow. Sega. That's before Mega, my time. The Mega Drive. Before my time. Yeah, yet another example of an inappropriate slogan for a video game console. This one was featured in a European print ad for the 16-bit Sega Mega Drive-In. That's absurd. Say it again. The more you play with it, the harder it gets. I would would have been more happy (laughs) if the fuller it gets. Because a hard drive, your Mega Drive, well, it says a drive-in. Okay. But why would it be hard? Because you can't find a spot... I don't know. <laughs> if you've heard this and you know more of why, let, let us know. Number four. If it doesn't get all over the place, it doesn't belong in your face. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh Is my this for, like, God. a lotion company or, like, skincare? Nope. Is it edible? Yes. What the hell? So think of now. Th- okay, so you're on the right track. Think of um, industry. Like, think of edible but industry wise so <laughs> beer no uh, industry out of i have no idea food well yeah just <laughs> not beer <laughs> beer food carl's jr oh dude i wanted carl's jr so bad last week when i was in california we I went when we it. went we did because everything was closed because we went there on the fourth of july yeah, literally that's right. everything <laughs> we yeah. drove to like every restaurant they're all closed obviously remember they're that woman raging. came in with the cat and like a backpack or a dog, a dog? yeah I, I have a picture of Lindsay like petting <laughs> or a video of her like petting this dog in someone's backpack and they had no idea oh, man carl's Come on, jr carl's. dude carl's jr is really good i it, wish we had it out here oh i would rather that than dude it's like the biggest fast food sandwich you can get I oh it was, it was so good and the fries were really good <laughs> 
Fast food company Carl's Jr. adopted this logo in the mid-1990s as part of their efforts to use sex to sell hamburgers. Well, you probably Are they got the it. ones? They're the ones that have, like, like probably models. Dude, I, you're, this is so true. Yeah, no, you're what right. What was the year? What was the time frame? 1990s. Oh, okay, I mean... No, I'm pretty sure you're but right, But they though. have models yeah. that, like, eat these cheeseburgers, and they're just, like, shoving the whole burger in and, you know, trying to be, like, sex appeal, but... Sex sells, man. I dude, but I love Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr. It was surprisingly good. That was my first time in California. Uh, first time having it, and it was in California. Yeah, I don't think we have them out here, unfortunately. No, not close anyway. Number three, more doctors smoke camels than any other cigarette. It's right in the title. Gee, I wonder what it's for. Yeah. Camel. So I guess more so, why did they choose that? They smoke camels. <laughs> Doctors, people on airplanes, people in police departments, police stations. I mean, it was everywhere. Given what we know about the dangers of smoking, this slogan seems absurd today. But in the 1940s, Campbell began an almost decade-long campaign that sought the expertise of medical community, of the medical community, to prove their brand was the elitist. So it's great. I'm glad that we grew up in the society that we did. Like people still smoke cigarettes, but not nearly even close to as much as what they did in like the 60s 70s even no. 80s but no. like our you know as soon as we came you know i was born in 95 i think you're 92 got it our generation like does not smoke cigarettes nearly no. as much thank god i, I not a fan not a fan <laughs> i had, smells bad it's a terrible addiction it's terrible it's for you smell. yeah i remember going out for like those late nights where like someone would be smoking but it was only because we were drinking so the smell of it was like appealing just at that time. There's a couple puffs oh, or whatever, about, you know, yeah. but never just like. I've never bought a pack. Daily, never no, bought like, a cigarette. Nothing. Daily, just like, yeah. I had. I well, I did buy packs, but very short period of time. It was like. I'm glad. Oh yeah, this is so long ago. Sorry, mom. <laughs> I think my mom knew. Actually, my mom did know. Oh, busted. Yeah. Well, I went. I was going outside when I. This was like my way, way, way back in the band days. So. But it was a quick, like, six-month thing, and never never again. Phew. Yeah, it's bad. Real bad. My Don't do it. You know, my grandpa smoked and oh, passed yeah. away. You know, he had lung, lung disease. I mean, yeah, you'll get the people like, oh, I'm almost 100, and I survived it. Well, you were just lucky. You're an anomaly. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, it's it's not. <laughs> Don't smoke. Smoking's bad. Smoking kills. Smoking kills. It really does. Number two. Uh-oh. The perfect beer for removing no from your vocabulary <laughs> for the night. <laughs> wow. That uh, that can be interpreted in many different ways. Removing no. The perfect beer? I'm just going to start listing beers. You're not. It's This is so. Tecate. Yeah. Really? Tecate, no. Oh. I thought you were making that up. No, Tecate is a Mexican no, beer. No, dude. This is like a brand that. It, this is so. I'm excited. Con, uh, condes- not condescending. Um, contradictory from. They're like now, Bud- mo- 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 uh, mode of Bud Light. Yeah, is it? Yeah, it's it's Bud Light. Yeah. Well, they're the only beer that's been in the news in the last year. Yeah, I think this is much older, but there's a whole thing with women, and I'm totally for it. Um, no means no. No is a sentence. No. So for them to say the perfect beer for removing no from your vocabulary for the night, Bud Light, and night and light rhyme. That must have been intentional, but. No means no, guys. I am a big, big supporter of that. And well, that's of, why... Speaking of Bud Light. That's why we're not going to drink Bud Light. Especially with all the controversy going on. Like, Over a silver bullet, baby. Like last year, and then this. No Bud Light, guys. Don't do it. Don't do it. Whoa. I need to catch up. <laughs> we'll save this for number one. Let, okay. me, uh, let, me, let me chug this. Let's Sip all it. watch as Alex chugs. <laughs> My tie. My tie. <laughs> Dude, right. my ties, I I yep. like you know I'm not a big like dark liquor guy. Rum not my thing, but I love my ties. I've been getting in, I've been getting you into a lot of stuff. Yeah, gin, bourbon, dude, those, old fashioned gin. Uh, Gazette, Glenette, so close. Gl- gl- Glubar, <laughs> Gim Gimblet, Gim Gimblet, yes. Gimblet. <laughs> yes. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers to the silver bullet and not Bud Light because no means no, guys. Like no. sp- like matches. What what's the uh, fire guy? What's the bear? Uh, sp- smoke. Smoky. Uh, smoke of the bear. What does it say? Leads to fires. <coughs> I don't know. I'm sweating. Something about wildfires. 
We saw a lot of Smokey the Bear, like fire warning. Like, dude, they're all it's all fire warning or what's it called? The fire, like the where the colors show. Like, yeah. um, we're so dumb. <laughs> no, it's the it's the, uh, the like the fire danger. Yes, it was high everywhere right. we went. It's like green, we orange, went, we drove yellow, through, red. We drove through multiple like burned areas of California. Wow, it's crazy. There was a wildfire when we were there. Okay. Did you see my snaps of the helicopters? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I was like coming, Cessna. They were landing on the golf course next to my grandmother's house and taking picking up the water from the ponds there and putting it out on the fires. I feel so bad, man. <laughs> California is just notorious for those wildfires. It's always burning. Always it's burning. Either burning or shaking. Out here, it's like we have snowstorms or humidity. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's crazy. It's it's not your typical like burn burn down the house. When you're burning down the house, you're not having so good time. So the fire that w- that we saw or we saw smoke from, we didn't actually see the fire, but we saw the helicopters and the smoke. That was a 55 acre fire. Damn. So that's no joke. That's a pretty big fire. They yeah, put it out though. That's awful. Yeah, dude. They brought wow. in a uh, Chinook from Van Nuys from LA area. Okay. And this thing picks up so much water. And then I, and then Lindsay and I went to the pool and we were talking to these guys about it. And they said, oh yeah, like the Aquaplex in town pumps recycled water to the golf course for this purpose because they, they come in they suck up all the water it's not a big pond it's a golf course it's like right. a little like water area it's just meant to look pretty right so they suck it up but the aquaplex sends all the recycled water over there so okay. they could keep doing it but uh as we're in the pool two air force c-130s they must be like air force like fire division or something like that Two Air Force C-130s came so low right over us in the pool, right towards the fire, and they must have dropped all this fire retardant, and it was like, it just smelled like sulfur. It smelled like fireworks, kind of. Okay, like Which eggs. Eggs. Kind of, yeah. Kinda, yeah. Yeah. And it's like a pa- it's like covered. It's supposed to smother yeah. everything, right? Yeah. So they, they flew by super low. They must have dumped their load. <laughs> uh-huh. <And> then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Love and, it. And then, they, and then they flew right back over us. It was really cool. Pull your chin. Hello? There's a hair. Oh. Who did that? I don't know. It's still there. I'm trying to save your... Oh, it's like, yeah, there you go. <laughs> the attack of it. <laughs> Let's see. You got to have blonde. your bros back. I did have a shower here because I just had my... Oh, cut. no. He so took a shower in the studio. Blame Lexi. Sorry. Bros, got to get... You got you to gotta back up your bros. Yeah. But now you're fresh. Yeah. Fresh cut. Got to do what you got to do. <sighs> I just got back yesterday. Yeah. You know, we have... We have stuff going on tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. Thursday, already. man. Damn. We're and flying. Then Friday. It's like I, I, I have a wedding Saturday. I was like, I need to. I have no time to Another get another one. Yeah. Damn. KP. Okay. Soldier boy. I figured. Yeah. Yeah. Soldier boy. Yeah. So we've her wedding Saturday. It's like back to back. It's <laughs> and then rain yeah. comes. Rain's gonna right. be here for a week. So what up, homie? What up, dude? You guys might get to meet Rain. He might come out here and uh, share some good stories from Tejas. Yo, Rain, if you're if you do come out here, I think you are. You we're we're doing this we're doing an episode with you, so stay tuned for a guest appearance because uh he's it's been guy. us two oh he's he's the best. He's awesome. Good good ass good ass dude. Good so, ass. Uh, That's, what the hell does that even mean? Good ass good dude. Good ass. <laughs> I think he's I think he's a great ass dude. <laughs> he's a great ass dude. <laughs> His ass is good, I guess. Oh, uh Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. I don't remember what we were even talking about. Well, we're gonna just go into number one, so, <laughs> David. I'm sorry. You, you're probably gonna have to like fast forward to keep these all in <laughs> one, one clip. <laughs> this is even worse than the second. Number one. It's not for women. It's not for women. That's not even that bad. But I mean, in today's culture of cancel culture and inclusion and women's rights and everything, which I'm all for. Not the cancel culture, but women's rights. But uh, yeah. before I dig myself into a deeper <laughs> hole, it's not for women. Is it something that men use? Or drink or yes. eat? Yes. Drink? Yes. Not eat. Drink. Drink. Yeah. Something that men drink. Yeah. Is it like a bourbon or something? No. Whiskey? Nope. Tequila? Nope. Vodka? Nope. Gin? Nothing to do with alcohol. <sighs> this honestly is a, ter- a terrible slogan. I'm actually surprised that this is real. <laughs> I really am. Give when it you, to me. Dr. Pepper. Oh, please. Are you kidding me? He's I know not even so a many, doctor. I know. What the hell wife, are you? My wife's top two sodas would be would have Dr. Pepper in it. It might be Dr. Pepper and then either root beer or ginger ale. We'll see what she says. She loves McDonald's Sprite. McDonald's Sprite has more syrup in it. but uh, 
I think Dr. Pepper. Dude, I think too it's the uh, carbonation. It's like spicy almost. That was the whole thing. Dude, Dr. Pepper. That's I know, insane. When was this? Women women for sure. What's the details on it? <sighs> Does it bring All right, so there's no date. I apologize guys. There's no date, but wanting to market their diet soft drink with 10 calories to men. Dr. Pepper raised a few eyebrows with this curious l- slogan, which explicitly tells women that the soda isn't meant for them. Yeah, I think it's bullshit. Because 10 calories or zero calories, clearly when it comes to women with social media, they're always hard on themselves about how they look and they're trying to be other people that they see because it's so fake. And 10 calories, why are, why are, why are we, like, I'm not consuming 10 calories because I don't think women should do it. Like, this is a terrible, a yeah, terrible slogan, awful. man. Awful, awful, awful. Number one, and, and it should be number one because that's, that's terrible. Two thumbs down. Two thumbs down. Executives at Dr. Pepper defended the tagline, claiming that its ad campaign was meant to be tongue-in-cheek. What does that mean? Tongue-in-cheek like is like, funny like, 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 yeah, like, oh, ha, 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 like, not for women, like, taking it lightly but it's affecting like yeah i'm calling the cops dude I've, I'm, I'm losing Hello, respect 911. for that doctor it's matt again yeah uh, dr pepper <laughs> is being sexist i rarely have dr pepper now it used to be my one of my favorites because it's all mixed with so many flavors and fruits or whatever dude, cherry, cherry dr orange. pepper uh, ha, ha, ha. <sighs> Lindsay just when we were at the grocery store in california this past week she saw or heard i think she saw strawberry dr pepper I could try that. I'd get behind that. It's like those machines we were talking about at uh, fast food restaurants. <laughs> and they're always the craziest flavors that I've never heard or seen in stores. It'll be like, you know, mellow yellow. Yeah. Have you yeah. Seen yeah. And it'll be like orange, pineapple, Dude, Capri cherry. Sun, all these, uh, Sunny D. Yeah. Like, there's all these like high, random. Uh, high C. High C, that's what it is. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, High Thank C. You. But yeah. It's I, I, unbelievable. It's funny. I saw a video uh, either today or yesterday. I think it was today. And it was like. My uncle just got out of prison. He doesn't know how to work this. And it was him going to one of those machines. Voice activated? No, no. The okay. ones that you get to pick like a million different flavors. Okay. And he puts it under there and he's like, he's like, nothing's happening. <laughs> like, you know, you have to push yeah. it under and you push, push the button. Yes. Like a physical button. Right. Yeah. He, he couldn't figure it out. And it was pretty funny. <laughs> I, have to, I have to send this to you. Remind you me if I don't. Up. But there's a video. He's pranking. But he goes into like a Wendy's or whatever. And he pretends it's voice activated. So he's like, Dr. Pepper, Cherry Coke. And like, it's not coming out. <laughs> Orange soda. Yeah. And so the, so the, one of the employees comes over and like, it's not voice activated. And he just keeps screaming. <laughs> really funny. But uh, yeah. Classic. Classic pranks, man. Those, those crack me up. Absolutely especially classic. at like 1 a.m. <laughs> and I have to like leave my bed. You know how I, I'll text you. I'll be like, dude, I had to get up yeah. because <laughs> I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> the whole bed's shaking. <laughs> Oh, man. Dude, so uh, kind of backtracking here. Backtrack. When we were it. in California, uh, Lindsay tried her first ever in and out burger, which for a long time, I will say, I was a hater. I uh, there, I think there's other better burger places. Um, their fries are like cardboard, so I still hate their fries. We got okay. animal style fries. It comes with like cheese and like this onion and like sweet sauce. That's good. But they're still like so below average, these fries. But. I will say the cheeseburgers we had, we both had double doubles and they were so good. So good. I am very proud of you, Lindsay. And I she loved it. She's like, You've been lying to me this whole time. Because I for a long time I was like, Yeah, it's overrated, there's long lines. Dude, we also got That's three what I cheeseburgers, hear. animal style fries, and regular fries for like twenty one bucks. In it's California. So cheap. In California too. It's so cheap. I put my glasses on just 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 for you. I can't even uh, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Hello? Yeah, but dude, In and Out, it was actually so good. Grandma I, loved it. I loved it. Lindsay loved it. Grandma. <laughs> Hell yeah, shout out. I I know it's said and claimed to be so overrated. I I do thoroughly enjoy In and Out. I don't know why. It was really good. I think it gives me the Johnny uh uh Johnny Rocket. Johnny Rocket vibes cuz they cuz they do the thin patties and they're on that Dude, it was skillet so grill. good. Oh, yeah. I wish we had it. Do we have one out here? No. No, the only thing we have out here is Chick Fil A, and I mean that like because that's they also have it out, out. There, yeah, yeah, it's like out. I think Chick Fil A goes like out, yeah, I mean all the way out here. In and out, the farthest east might be like Texas. Yeah, I think they're in Texas, but dude, we should start bringing it out here. We really should, man. <laughs> in and out, give us In-N-Out, some burgers, please. Bring it out here, please. I'm gonna tag. I'm gonna tag the. I'm gonna tag them in this video because you gotta open it up. 
We got Chick Fil A, but McDonald's. Come on, over. That's overrated, but only because there's way better so many. fries. There's though. so many. I know the In-N-Out fries I were know. so bad. Like on a scale of one to ten, I give them a one. Wow, the animal really style, that low? Yeah, seriously. And, and, and whoa, whoa. Animal, style animal style brought it up to like a three because like because the cardboard taste was masked with cheese, and onions, and sweet sauce. Dude, they're they're so bad, and they're the the cool or the craziest thing is it, they're fresh cut. Okay, you see them push I the know, machine down and cut like the Johnny fries. B- rockets, yeah. It must be the oil they kick, cook them in. It like keeps them like Five Guys not, is like that. They're doing it in front of you. Yeah, Five Guys are way better fries, dude. Yeah, In and Out. I don't know. Their fries are just so down under. Well, I think they're they're around in Vegas where we're going oh, this fall. You should definitely go. So I'm gonna go and treat Lexi, and then I need to. I'm gonna do a rank. Maybe I'll go live. You should. And I should I should like FaceTime. get you in. So like it's like a <laughs> yeah. Put me on FaceTime on yeah. Lexi's phone. <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell, bro? <laughs> Man, I don't remember it being cardboard though. I, yeah, I remember no, them being bad. like okay. They're bad. Wait but, till you yeah. wait till you give it a shot. God. This was like five Comment years. below if you know what I'm talking about. Like In and Out Burgers, eight point six out of ten. Really, really good. So when we went viral, if you will, with <laughs> Freddy's <laughs> uh, and everyone was going nuts about that. They were saying In and Out is better. I've seen a lot of comments about the fries, but I would try both again. Yeah, I know. In and Out, I'm def- so they just put one in San Clemente. That's where my grandmother lives. That's where I used to live. Oh it, yeah, it's so helpful because, well, it is off the highway, but there's so few in the area, right? That like everyone would go to the same one, dude. The lines out in the street. Yeah, we went there and uh, by four or five days ago. And there was probably 10 to 12 cars in front of us still, but like it okay. moved pretty quick. It was probably about 15, 20 minutes. Right. They take your order while you're in line. And so it's like Chick-fil-A. Kind of. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But when we left, the line was out to the street, like out in the street. I was like, oh, look at these people. Like they're just like on the, like, you know, the driveway into the parking lot. And then we pull out. I'm like, they're still out here lined up in the street. I'm like, it might be relatively quick compared to others, but people line up. And dude, the lines are just ferocious so when and we, atrocious and atrocious <laughs> so when we went out there for my band at the time went out there for this like um premiere we were going to be on we weren't going we were on this like show that showcased um unsigned bands we were out in california and we did in and out we went to encinitas and that's where we went to. I thought you were in LA. We were. So and, and it, that? is in. Uh, that's where we had those pineapple shots in the in San Diego. Maybe that's why I'm thinking of it because you mentioned it before. <laughs> All right, where were we? So we were by. Man, I can't think. Were you in like uh, the LA area? We were like above LA, like north. Okay. But c- close, but north. It was where we. Maybe Ventura. Like Thousand is Ventura? Oaks. Ventura is a little bit further. Okay, around the Thousand Oaks area. Yeah, to. Yeah, it's where. Um, a fun fact: Where we were is where um, Incubus is based out of, and we uh, and where we performed for the filming is the pra- is the practice space that in- Incubus uh, practices at. Cool. They rehearse there, but anyway. So you had it. So out. we went there, but we went there. Yeah, and I I thought it was really good, but maybe the it burgers was are like, good. Maybe it was like my eyes were twinkling because we also brought it home. Okay. Like I don't know. Like sometimes if you have it on site, it can be better. Right. We brought it home, dude. It was still very, very good. The burgers okay. were really good. Yeah, they're... I love burgers. That might be my f- number one favorite food. Oh yeah. But uh, the fries. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. Yes. I think. I hope. If you like their fries, you're you're sick in the head. But um, the animal style definitely you. helped. Animal style. <laughs> you can get burgers animal style. So next time I'm yeah. definitely gonna do that. Yeah. Hell yeah. Animal style. <laughs> animal style. I love it. We're always talking about food somehow. One day we're, we're one day we're gonna go somewhere that's like just a super popular like. We're gonna travel together soon. Oh yeah. Cause like we did uh four years ago. I think it was during COVID twenty twenty. Absolutely. We had a sick Airbnb for cheap in Dana Point. We'll um, go li- we'll go live. We'll I I am we so down go back to do to a Southern pod. California or we can go I've never been to the Caribbean. You've been there so many times. I know. Maybe we'll go somewhere we've never been. That would be cool because then the experience would be mutual. Yeah. Like I, I can't. Like South South Carolina or something. Yeah. Or somewhere. We'll hop on. Maybe we'll shoot an episode and bring you with us. That'd be that'd be pretty. That'd be pretty cool. Rank some drinks. Rank some food. Oof. My favorites. All all <laughs> of the above. You can't keep me away. No. I need my wing Wednesday. So I come up. Right. You said we always talk about food. 
Let's I come go. over here, we record. <laughs> Wednesdays, it's like I have such a light lunch for some reason. Or even if I have lunch, that's it. So I'll eat at like 12. Because I eat lunch like right at 12, 12, 30, 12 at the latest. I'm going to call you at 12. I'll be eating. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, bro, what's up, bro? <laughs> I'm eating the in and out. But then it's like five or six hours until we get together, and I'm like, I'm starving by the time I get here. Well, to be fair, today at 2 today o'clock. Today early. Today t- at 2 o'clock, Lexi shouts down into the office and she goes um excuse me sir she's like have you eaten anything today i hadn't <laughs> eaten anything by two were you just super busy by or two, yeah just... man so i had my coffee i have to have coffee at least by like poop juice 9 30 10 gotta get that, that warm brew <laughs> gotta Is get it cold that, brew? yeah no just just You're regular still drinking warm coffee in the summer no no no, no. so it was actually cold okay, so what so, cold so what happens though. is we make 10 cups I, i'll have one or two cups that are hot and then the rest goes into this jar that goes into the fridge. A jar. And that's what Lexi, like a like a pouring jar, like a like a a pitcher, a yeah, jug. Pitcher, a pitcher jug. <laughs> yeah. A jar. A jar jug. A jar of coffee. Reach in, reach your hands so, in this jar for some coffee. But we make <laughs> but we make so much. So I'm like, oh whatever. It's yeah, yeah it's hot. So, so I did I did cold. Oh, I did cold today. That's nice. So it was nice. It was nice. It's nice. <laughs> but anyways, Wing Wednesday. Well, Wing Wednesday, it is Wednesday. You mentioned some some yummy chicken tendies type things so i'd be down for either i know <laughs> that's up to you so you when we're like done flip here a quarter. i know it's like free or that's like the thing 16 bucks it is wing wednesday so a cocktail and like 10 wings literally would be 15 or 16 bucks right we're repping the local local a, a local spot so the spot yes <laughs> is the local. spot that is local <laughs> hits um, the spot so we'll see. I'll see how he's feeling. Barl does, Barl does. That's right. Well, we're gonna do one more thing here. Ooh. <laughs> hey, when he goes away, I make sure when he gets back, we're we're, we're having fun. We're having fun. I'm tired of going away, dude. I need to stay home for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, stay home. We miss you. <laughs> By the way, guys, if anyone has noticed this sticker, if you haven't figured it out, it is a Seven Eleven sticker. You've had that since that was Secret Santa. Yeah. So that was since like December. Yeah. We're going to get back to this, but I just want you guys to know that no matter what has happened, whether it be comments, whether it be doubt, whatever, whatever anyone's thinking, we've been doing this podcast for almost a year. Almost a year. And it may, maybe it seems like nothing, but dude, a year is a year. A year is we a year. We have bought equipment for this over a year ago. Yes. So we're here. I will say we will have a special episode for our one year. And I will absolutely make sure that we have a special episode when we hit a thousand subscribers. We're close because we are close. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, and to the haters, read between the lines. I think our friends, I think our 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 followers are gonna like Rain. Rain's a funny guy. Yeah, he might move back just because he might. We, maybe we go so crazy that he's <laughs> like, I gotta be there. I gotta be there for it. He li- <laughs> he likes it up here. Yeah, yeah. He's from uh, Texas. I met him in San Diego, but he's a really good dude. Yeah. It'll be good for the dynamic. I think it'll be awesome to just hear like, just hear about his life, hear about what's awesome about Texas, what he recommends to do, and he can reach out to followers who have never been to Texas, and if it's going to be your first time, what what to do. He's from ATX, baby. Yeah, from Austin. Gary for some uh, Austin stories. Well, I am a musician. I mean, I guess I'm still am, but I, at least I used to be. But Austin is like. Huge for the music, music, hot spot. music scene, man. Hell yeah, dude! Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> banana, banana bread, bread at work. <laughs> have you guys ever seen the banana bread at work video? That is a funny one. I hope you have. This guy's like, yeah, my He's mom car, said right? if I yeah. if I waited, good things would happen, and I waited, dude. <laughs> Today at work, dude, someone brought banana bread. Hell yeah, work. Hell no. Yeah, <laughs> like. Making, he's like something making, stink like <laughs> like the Cubs, dude. <laughs> yeah. Hell no, skunks, like skunks, dude. <laughs> Hell no, but banana bread at work, dude. Hell yeah, and making and working and making not a lot of money. <laughs> Hell no, <laughs> but the banana that guy's bread, hilarious, man. dude. I don't know where he is, but we should have him on the pod. I want to. We're gonna, we need to look. We should. I need to know <laughs> he's somewhere. He's got to be somewhere. Well, if you've been following us, you would know that. Um, our editor actually sent us um, 
slang for like English, uh, British English slang. So I said, let's keep going because I think it's really funny. Oh, no. It's really funny. So let's, let's end it off. This ain't British slang now. Oh, okay. This is Scottish. 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 So we've had people comment. You squished me mashed potatoes. Yeah, right. I don't know if that's Scottish, but. So I, this time, <laughs> I like <laughs> mashed potatoes. That's I don't know what accent that was. Definitely not Scottish. No. That might have been Jamaican. Yeah. Shout out to the Jamaicans. <laughs> Jamaica's great. We had a mashed potatoes, <laughs> man. <laughs> All right, so we did British slang. I just went through the list and clicked anything random just to get the answers. So I really don't know either, so it'll be kind of new to me. But uh, we're going Scottish slang. So here we go. Let's end it off. Okay. Because I know you love this. <laughs> I love it. In Scotland, this is the phrase. He got paralysis of the g- the gallusses. G a l l u s e s gallusses. Is it? He's an idiot. He's broke. He's lazy. He's important. I'm sorry. He's in in po- impotent. He's impotent. Ooh, what was the good. first one? Sorry. Uh, he's an idiot. Yeah, I'm going with that. Not right. Lazy. That's correct. Paral- that makes sense. Bing, paralysis bing, bing. is not like you're paralyzed yeah. and you can't move. You can't move, so you're lazy. Yeah. Of I know galluses, like, <laughs> like like calluses, G A L L U S E S. Man, Scotland, come on, killing me. In Scotland, quote, it gives me the boke. It, it sounds like like it gives me the heebie-jeebies. Like it's B O K E boke. Gives me a little scare. Or it like, makes me incredibly. It makes me sick. Incredibly. Yeah, like so. I guess you say it gives me the bloke. Tired. A bloke? Like you said, uh, boke. sorry, sorry, boke. Okay. Boke, boke tired. It says it makes me incredibly. So maybe you're like, like it gives me the boke tired. Yeah, like finna means Ghana. So I'm that's what I'm assuming. It brings tears to my eyes. It scares me to death. I'm gonna say scares me to death. Not correct. Awesome. Hell yeah. So I said it makes me incredibly. So the answer is it makes me sick. It gives me the boke. It gives me that's, the sickness. You know what? That's kind of like what I said. It said it gives me the heebie-jeebies. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. You were right. It makes me sick or yeah. it gives me a little like uneasy. On, I should have said that. No, he got it. He got the point. I'm an idiot. It makes me incredibly, so I'm, I'm kind of guessing it's like finna. Finna meaning Ghana, so people like finna get sick. So it's like it makes me incredibly something. So it gives me the boke tired. I don't know. You tell me. If you're Scottish, please let us know. I'm calling the cops. I'm calling the cops too. That was That was bad. <laughs> He's doing his dinger. Wow. He's in the bathroom. He's taking a nap. He's pouting. He's ranting. I'm going to go with D. He's ranting. And Matt is correct. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. You Give him the Scottish. dinger. Because he's Scottish, I've actually. got a little yeah. Scottish in me. He's actually lived there for his whole life. <laughs> I was yeah. born and raised in Scotland. Dinger, like when you're in the ringer and d- or if you're in the dinger, like what would dinger mean for American? For America. Dinger is like a big dinger. big hit in like baseball. A dinger. Okay. Or dinger is like you're packing a lip of tobacco, like you're packing a dinger. All right, so if you I hit it kind of means big, I guess. So if you hit a dinger, it's a home it's run. It's a big hit, a big home, you know, So home you're run. if you're if you're ranting, if you're bragging, I guess you're it's it's probably about something like pretty big, maybe? Maybe. Check his ding, I don't know. <laughs> don't check it. <laughs> <laughs> An everyday language in Scotland, Barry, the name, B A R R Y means Great, disgusting, crap, boring. Can you use it in a sentence? Negus. The Ethiopian king. He's the head of the Ethiopian empire. <laughs> Barry. Um, I just met. I just met Rain. He's Barry, man. He's Barry. Uh, okay. He's Barry. What are the options again? Great, disgusting, crap, boring. I'm going to go with, uh, well, Rain is disgusting, but I'm going to go with Great. And you are correct. Because you, means, we just talked about great. how much we love Rain. Rain is great. So, Rain, <laughs> you're Barry. Maybe you should change your name. <laughs> Welcome on the podcast. Yeah. This <laughs> is Barry. This is Barry. <laughs> He's really great. Oh, man. The term Bonnie, B-O-N-N-I-E, means small erection, woman, silly, or pretty. Bonnie? Bonnie. I'm going to go with silly. You are incorrect. Think of Spanish bonita. Pretty? Yes. Ding, 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 ding. It means pretty. Bonnie. 
Bonita, Bonnie. I okay. guess that's their yeah, way of sure. like, yo, I met a chick. She's Bonnie. But I feel like they don't talk she's like that. Talk. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Who is she? <laughs> All right. In Scotland, hod my chips of it dropped the ween. Wait for me. I'll be right back. What the hell? I need money. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was not paying attention to what you were saying. I've dropped my ween. <laughs> or hold this for me, please. I'm going to go with C. I hold was not paying beer. attention. Dude, that's what it is. I've dropped Let's my go. wiener. <laughs> what is it? Was it? <laughs> Chips in the ween. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hod, H-A-U-D. Hod, my chips. M-A for ma. Comment below if you want to hear Alex try to do like different accents like australian english i'll make Scottish, a whole episode I don't jamaican <laughs> yeah. another another phrase i could eat the scabby hide off a ween <laughs> <laughs> i'm hungry a scabby what off a what <laughs> off a ween yeah because ween here is totally different i'm hungry i'm exhausted i'm furious i'm disgusted it's got to be hungry Dude, you're right. A you're killing it, They're bro. so hungry they can eat a scabby ween. something. A scabby ween. <laughs> a scabby ween off a what? So when I say ween, it says hide af a ween. So it's so H-E-I-D. So it's not a scabby ween. It's a scabby hide off a ween. Hide, yeah. H-E-I-D. Eat your story straight. Straight? I watched uh, <laughs> a movie on the plane yesterday with Liam Neeson. Oh, it was dude. called uh, something about saints and sinners. I think it's called Saints and Sinners. Yeah. Have you I heard really of it or seen yeah, it? Yeah, dude. Yeah. I love him. That's good. Yeah, yeah, he's awesome. He's awesome. But anyways. Oh. We're almost we're almost it's there. It's Wing man. Wednesday for me. <laughs> yeah, Wing Wednesday is 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 a is Hello? a funny one. All right, we got three left. Here we go. Which of these words is not a Scottish insult? Chippy, numpty, galoot, or bobag? I'm gonna go with chippy. Dude, you're killing it. I'm, I'm I told you I'm, I'm Scottish. I, he's from Scottish. He was born in Scotland. I'm from Scottish. He's from <laughs> Scotland. He's Scottish. I was, and born, he in was Scottish. born in Scotland. I'm in from Scottish. Scottish. Yeah. Scot- I'm cheersing <laughs> you to this. Cheers to the silver the Hello? silver mountains. <laughs> <laughs> Every oh wait, are we there yet? Chippy. What? Are we there yet? What's that? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, we're at the end? Sorry. No. no. <laughs> Every weekend. Every- we're, <laughs> we're almost there. We're almost there. Yeah, chippy, chippy is not an insult. All right, run run me through it. Here we go. Two left. Two left, I promise. The Scottish saying, if patter with water, you'd droon. <laughs> D-R-O-O-N. You'd droon. If patter is water? Wis. W-I-S. Wis. Wis. You're full of shit. You should stop drinking alcohol. You talk too much. Watch your language. I'm going with A. Incorrect. Fudgesicles. Fudgesicles. He's full of it this time. It is you talk too much. If patter was water, you'd droon. I guess if you... What the hell is patter? Patter, pitter-patter. I guess like if you're drowning in water, I guess if someone's dunking someone underwater, it's like you're talking too much, like shut up. <laughs> you're shut, like shut up, like quit talking. That's quite the uh, diagnosis. Watch. Someone, someone <laughs> comment and be like, oh, he's right, he's right. All right, here we go. Last one. <laughs> And then I'll put him out of his misery. Thank you. Here we go. <laughs> in Scotland, this is a quote. He's like a dog licking pish af a nettle. <laughs> you want to just like <laughs> just leave. Will you run my foot over with a oh, truck? Oh, man. With a dick? Can you say it again? <laughs> no, not a dick. A truck. I'm in a dog. I'm in a dog. <laughs> He's like a dog, D-U-G, dog, <laughs> licking pish, P-I-S-H, af a nettle, A-F-F. And then A, and then <sighs> I don't know A-T-T-L-E. these words. Nettle, like... Give me the options. All right. He's upset. He's very drunk. He's ecstatic. He's gone mad. Very drunk. No, you mad. are correct. No. All right, I quit. The answer is he's upset. <laughs> the answer. Matt is Doug licking pish af a nettle, so... That's me. On that note, <laughs> if you ever want to learn how to speak in another country, tune in next don't time. Don't ask us. <laughs> 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 Take it away. Cheers, uh, you guys. Uh, Thursdays, 11 a.m., new episodes coming out. Check out our content. We have a reel right now on the market that is blowing up all about the lamp theory. So go and check that out on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. We're out there. Our shorts on YouTube. Every Thursday, 11 a.m. Cheers. Shake it up. We'll see you next time. Peace. The Martini Boys. The Martini Boys. Pour yourself a drink. Hey. Oh, yeah.
Yeah.